Pisces, how you doing? Uh, just a few Akashic Records channeling, and then we go into your Tara for May. Uh, something to do with Tara or Tara, you're right. Um, something to do with the chairman or Chapman, the name Chapman or chairman, or I need a new chairman. Some of you have just been like your uh, like to do with your job or something. You're looking to be in a chair position, like I'm looking for a new chair. Some of you are physically looking to buy yourself a new chair, or they keep saying share or Chapman, also Chapman. Uh, I do. I have heard some strange messages that have come from the Aquarius reading also to do with around uh, illness also, but. Uh, <coughs> They're saying that uh, something to do with a chairman or chapman, the name chapman or chairman. I need a new chairman. Chairman. I need a new spokesman also. I need to speak. I need to speak to somebody. Um, I don't know what that's for. I need to speak to someone like urgency, emergency. They keep saying emergency, urgency, emergency. Like, um, <coughs> excuse me. I do keep picking up though, I need to, like, is this is doing like hospitals or I don't know if anybody has passed or is ill because it's kind of coming through as what was in the Aquarius reading here. And uh, like uh, outpatients, inpatients, emergency. Uh, some of you are looking for a, a new job or it's to do with around patients, Sagittarius. So again, y'all got big references of people that have got Sagittarius, Capricorn and also Aquarius in their chart. You may have these in your chart itself. Um, but I keep hearing like, um, I need, it's an emergency, it's an emergency, I need to speak to you emergency, or I need to go to the emergency room, okay, so I don't know if there's anything, like I said, of hospitals, it doesn't have to be anything bad, it could just be that you're visiting the hospital, or you're looking for a job in the hospital, or uh, you've got somebody that is in hospital, they're saying that somebody that you may know, a relative, is in hospital, because they're saying that it's an emergency, okay, an emergency, an emergency, an emergency. Uh, I'm sorry about the messages as they are, Pisces, but that is what my spirit keeps saying. Something to do with, um, yeah, Chapman or Chairman or I need a Chairman. Chairman, they keep saying a Chairman. Spokesman, I need to spoke, I need to spoke in the wheel. Something to do with a, a bike, you might be buying a new bike, a push bike or an exercise bike or I need a, a bike emergency. Something to do with around maybe fitness and health for a lot of you and you're looking to buy yourself an exercise bike or a physical bike itself. Okay, I don't know if this is where if your car is broken you ride a bike but or you're just looking for a bike. They keep saying I'm looking for a bike. I'm also looking for Mike or Michael. I'm looking for a Michael in order to spokesman, a spokesman. Hold on a minute, Pisces. What, I don't know what these are relating to. Relations, something to do with someone, one, one of your relations. So you're looking at mother or father or one of your relations, of one of your relations. And I don't know if it's an emergency and I need to speak to you because of my relation or like if this is anything to do with around what happened in Aquarius where uh, there, I mean, because it showed physical signs of someone passing there. So it might mean that you find out news or you know of this energy or I need to speak to you because there's an illness in the family and someone could be ill, okay? I definitely keep hearing that. I'm sorry for such bleak messages, Pisces, but that's what I'm picking up for you guys. Um, and I can't change the messages. It wouldn't matter how many times I turn this off and think, you know what, I can't say these kind of messages on here because it's my calling, it's what I do. And uh, when they do come on, I can't avoid them. I pretty much just have to... Uh, channel them right so you got something to do with channel 4 something to do with Scorpio uh, it really could be what was in the Aquarius reading as as where there could be uh, a visit to the hospital it could be illness like I said me if you watch the Aquarius reading I've literally had my uh, COVID vaccine which was um, two and a half days ago now and I'm absolutely fine um, but there is you'll have to watch that reading just out of curiosity if you want Curiosity killed the cat, something around Leo. Okay, curious, curious, curious around Leos. Very curious about Leo. Hmm. I don't know why I keep hearing killed, was killed, somebody was killed, or the name Kilby. I don't know why I keep hearing, though, that somebody was killed here, and I keep trying to to get off of that message here, but they keep saying that somebody was killed, or gilled, or a fish, 
a Pisces is ill or was ill or was killed. They keep saying that someone was killed here. So, I mean, I don't know. Because like I said, these messages, they can just come up for you on the internet or on TV or on your Facebook and you know of a person. But they keep saying here that somebody was killed. And I don't know what that's for. Was this an accident or something? Like, was killed. They're saying I was killed. So this must be a spirit, I was killed. Or the name Gil itself. Gil. Gil. Bill Gil. Bill Gil. I know Bill Gil, actually. Bill Gil. Um, Bill's ill. Bill's ill. Bill's ill. Or somebody's ill. See, I don't know. It's like you're going to get this or know of already that somebody's ill. Somebody's, I mean, me, I have been ill because I've had the coronavirus jab, right? And I'm fine. Honestly, I am fine now. But this is like two, two and a half days in now for me after having the vaccine. Um, but uh, I keep hearing, though, and I don't know what this is for, that someone was either killed in an accident or uh, someone is ill. Someone is ill in hospital, in Hill, in Hill, from Notting Hill, Nottingham, from Nottingham, from Nottingham, or Notting Hill, like like London area, London area. Well, in London area at the moment, because uh, it, it, funnily enough, this morning it actually came up on my little news articles and I don't watch them normally, but I clicked on it because I wanted to look at the good news where they were saying around um, the coronavirus. I don't watch the news. I know I said that through, through uh, Aquarius Energy, um, but I did watch something because I, it said about um, that Britain is now coming out of the pandemic altogether. And that's the only thing that I'm kind of interested in at the moment. Um, but I noticed that London, physical London, was actually uh, protesting. And I don't know if this has got something to do with the protests here. Because it says pros and cons. Con it or convict or a convicted murder. What on earth is that? A convicted murder. Or a convicted Vicky? Vic? Vic, Vic Vicky? Or convicted See, I keep hearing convicted to death sentence. What on earth is that? Was convicted to a death sentence. Or was, con or was evicted. Someone's like evaded, David, David, or evaded. Or um, um, was uh, Dave. Or someone that was like, ev like evaded, avoided and evaded, like uh, evicted. Someone that was thrown out of their house or home, evaded. And I'm also trying to avoid something. Evade and avoid. Divide, divide, David. It keeps saying avoid, evade, David. Evade, David. Raiders? Space and Raiders? Something to do with space? <laughs> space and Raiders? Avoid, David. Space. Like... I don't know what this is coming up, sorry, uh, Pisces. Space. I need some space. Some of you are physically, you're just saying to a person in your life, I need some space. I need some time. I need some space. I need some time to sort myself out. And is this a person that physically is ill here and they are in hospital or something traumatic has happened to a person? And they're actually saying, look, I need some time. I need some space on my own. I can't handle what I've, what, what's just happened and, and so on and so forth. And I need a little time. And I need to be on my own here. Like I said, be careful when it comes to listening. Uh, well, you've got to really understand the way I channel because you're looking at Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter... Right, and then you're looking at you as a person, your soul group people that you know of, and then also things that you see and hear on the internet. So messages can come from anywhere, okay? So you've kind of got something coming from out of nowhere. It just comes from out of nowhere. 
I mean, is this like news and it just comes from out of nowhere? It's like, I can't believe the news. It just comes from out of nowhere. Like, I can't believe it. This thing, Stephen or King, just comes out of nowhere. But there are other Stevens out there. Trust me, there are. I, I have to do this because it's my, my calling. Something to do with Michael and Steve, or Steve and Al. Well, there is a person that, that is also dating a Piscean that is also called Steve, and they're a Capricorn. I've said this in the Capricorn reading. You've got references of another person here called Steve that is a Capricorn, right? And it's involving the Capricorn reading. <clears throat> um, and like this just comes out of nowhere this news just comes out of nowhere and I don't know what this important thing is around death or around something I mean everybody's going to freak out probably here and I probably shouldn't really be putting these out but again I can only do that and it has to be people that really understand these messages right uh, okay so brief thing there have been quite a few people around my town, right, that have all passed away, right, they've all passed away. There's quite a few, and each day I keep getting more info from people that are telling me that this person's ill, that person's ill, this person's ill, and I keep hearing the name Steve, okay. Now, I am also called Steve, but there are two to three other people I know in my town that are also called Steve, okay, that are also called Steve, and it is involving possibly this person, okay? And there is something around in there. Oh, wow, there is as well. I totally didn't think there is. Sorry, this is involving my c cousin. Okay, I've got a few cousins. <laughs> okay, sorry. I've got a few people that could well be watching from my, from my Facebook. Um, and there are people here that I know of that is also called Steve that is in a hospital. So, um, yeah, I've got to not freak out one because my name's also Steve. <laughs> right? So I'm not laughing at anybody, but I'm just, I'm just hearing these messages and I'm trying to translate them for everybody because obviously people live in America and so on and so forth. Uh, but I'm definitely hearing, though, that somebody could be ill that's called Steve, has been ill or is still ill, somebody that's in hospital. Okay. Um, you might get word of family, but like I said, there are so many things happening just lately that are very strange, Pisces, that uh, each day I'm hearing, oh my God, I didn't realise that so-and-so had passed. Oh my God, I didn't realise that so-and-so was ill. Oh, I didn't realise they were in hospital. I didn't, like, there's been three people in my town that have passed on. They've all passed on, okay? Uh, and I'm just getting word of it now as I'm doing these also, so... <laughs> You'll have to bear with me because your messages are really around this, this, uh, these here. And I have to give them out for everybody. So a lot of people passing on. Parsons, that name also came up in uh, Aquarius reading. Passing on. So it seems to be like getting a lot of word of mouth, really. Getting a lot of... Um, people that may be in hospitals here. That's all they're saying, Pisces. I'm gonna leave that at that for the moment, okay? Uh, wait until your weekly comes up and then we'll try and look for some more messages there for you. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know, because obviously I'm a Pisces as well, so I don't know if any of you out there have also had the the, the jab, I had mine, like I said, a couple of three days ago, and I'm fine now. First day, like I was, man, I was shaking with fever. Uh, really not great, but trust me, if the if the virus is any different, if you catch it, <laughs> man, I wouldn't want that. Um, so my belief is, is that I decided to have that, uh, the actual uh, vaccination, uh, and I did. The first day wasn't very great at all. Next day, I felt slowly started to feel a lot better during the next day. This is kind of the third day, but um, yeah, I feel, well, obviously I'm working again. I obviously don't look too great, but uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel a lot better. So I don't know if any of you guys have had that. 
but there is illnesses here and that's all I'm going to stick with at the moment Pisces okay uh, so let's see uh, Pisces Sun and Rising Venus and Jupiter what's been going on with Pisces uh, so you've got Leo energy Leo the trio of Leos I could have just met a Leo or I am with a Leo okay but Aries Leo Sagittarius also in friend groups and also parents where a lot of people around you are going to have fire in their charts something rising Venus Jupiter and North Node okay placements of your partner could be a Leo okay feeling good and I'm feeling good dun, 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 dun. And in the sky, how I feel. Um, Pisces, what's been going on with Pisces? Uh, five, oh God, that came up in the in the Aquarius reading. It was a lot to do with around people fighting in siblings with father and mother, fighting over the father, fighting over the mother, the son, the ghost, the spirit, the Holy Ghost, all that sort of stuff. Still fighting with the ex, still fighting with the person over the kids and children, still listening to parents, still listening to conspiracy, still going through the same stuff. I've been fighting with my dad, I've been fighting with my mum, or my partner's been fighting with their parents. Uh, my parents, your parents, everybody's parents are all here. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so fighting with my dad, fighting with my mum, or this is my ex, I had kids with them, I'm fighting with my ex, blah, 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 over the kids. I'm really putting myself first and not my children, because there's been fights over that, okay. So, you've been arguing. If not, you've just been teasing with a person here. A lot of teasing. On a very low, low, light level, five of wands is play fighting and teasing. If not, it's serious arguments that have gone on in the family or within your love life here. But relax is also that. Jax, Jackson, Jackie. Okay, Jackson. Pucci they are, we your son. Uh, let's see. Um, Pisces, somebody wants to be stupid. What's been going on with them? Uh, work. I'm back at work. <clears throat> I had a bit of a we had a bit of a blip. We had a bit of an argument, but I've gone back to work, or I'm searching for work, or I've been looking for work, and it's been a bit of a struggle in order for me to, to find the right job, to find something that suits me. What fits me? What suits me? The name Fitzy, Fitzgerald, Fitzpatrick, Fitzy. Someone's been having a fit. Something fitted. Fitted. A new suit. Fitting on a new suit. Need to find a new suit. I don't know. I, I mean, I've... Oh man, why do I have to come up with these messages? I'm picking up that somebody could have passed here and somebody's been looking for a new suit and tie in order to go to a funeral or a wedding. But, like, I'm, I'm looking and been looking for a new suit and tie in order to be able to like a tuxedo or something like that or man, why on earth am I hearing a tornado a tornado um, a tall order I keep saying tall or a tall order like ordering a lot of stuff like a tall order or whatever that else whatever that means like it's a tall order a tall order like it's a, a heavy workload, like I've got a lot of people ordering a lot of things and it's a tall order. Like I'm trying to get through it all and it's a, like it's a, it's a tough ordeal in order to keep producing what I'm doing. So I don't know if it's around music producing, music production or music producing or production line. And it's like I'm struggling in order to keep producing everything every day, every night, every day, every night, every day out and producing it. Or I'm struggling to produce music. Or I'm struggling to perform. Is this sexually or struggling to perform? Like a performance. Trying to find work. Let's see. Pisces. Four of Wands. So yeah, I mean, there's no, there's not a lot of conflict here. If I'm honest, Pisces, there's probably just been a slight tall order. They keep saying a tall order, tall order. Sorry, I'm trying to work out what on earth that means because they keep saying it. Tall order, tall order, tall order, tall order. Um, 
you should be in a generally great relationship here unless you're arguing with your ex and you're at home with the four of wands and there's a person that you fight with now that's either your husband or your wife right and you fight with them all the time or just very lightly okay the name Lee or like Lee or the lightly lads um, or the lads like I've been fighting with my friends um, but getting married, you see, that is also, like I said, four of wands can be a progression of marriage and looking for a tuxedo. Uh, you've got the king of wands here with the ten of wands. So it feels like that I can't do this anymore. I'm stressed out. I'm fed up. I'm frustrated. I'm just holding on. I'm, I'm hearing I'm just holding on for dear life here. Is this someone that you know of? The King of Wands can be a business owner or a father and that they've just been holding on for dear life. Because I keep hearing that, that my father, I found out my father is like doesn't have long to live and that, um, you know, they've been holding on for dear life or they've just been holding up the job. Like they've just been uh, like, uh, what do you call it, uh, laid off my father got laid off or something like that or I've just been laid off work here and I don't have any just been laid off uh, what's the five of ones for because the five and the one is the six of ones so it is a lot to do with family for me sixes are always about family and somebody in the family that's all they keep saying like my father, or it can even be a stepfather. Like the King of Wands can be a stepfather. Five of Wands. Libra. See, that came up in the actual Aquarius reading, and it was the first card out. I'm sure it was. I can't remember now. Justin, Jason, Julian, Jasmine. Um, some of you have been fighting over divorce here. Or, like, I don't know. It could be this person. I get this very strange feeling around reading sometimes, Pisces. And it's kind of one of these. Where it's kind of uh, been laid off. Or trying to get divorced. Or someone that's just been holding on for dear life. And, like, you know, just making it through. Because like, this can also be hospital. Okay, and it can be child support and maintenance, and it can, like I said, I'm just finding my feet around work, and I've been laid off, and I'm trying to find work, and because justice is proof, can you prove it, right? So it can be a hospital, and I need proof first. I need to get my uh, what do you call it, CV, and all that, or Steve, or Stevie, Steve. They keep saying Steve, another one, or me. But all I have been sort of ill. <laughs> but um, like I've just been laid off and I just need to get my CV in order to get another job for some. Like They keep saying like I need to get a CV to go and visit a place to get a job here. Because this is a job interview and things like that as well. And it came out through the Aquarius reading. Because this is kind of getting good news about it also. Seven of... Um, Sorry, eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. God, my arm is killing me. <laughs> eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Six. Again, you see. Six. In the family. Some of you live at home with this person and you're finding it very difficult in order to coexist in a non-loving relationship. Or you're finding it very difficult to coexist with a family member that you live with here. Some of you are trying to move out and move on, move away, like save money in order to move out here. Um, save for my own house, save for my own mortgage, save for my own place. Like I've been saving, well, basically saving for a rainy day. The name Rainer also. Rani, Rani or Rainy. Uh, what's the four of wands for? Three of Cups, so it's kind of like 
it's kind of like here that well what it's shown me so far unless i continue to like clarify them but it shows me that your love life could be very good here but you're just either one had a main concern of someone that's been very ill at the moment See, on the lighter side of the five of wands can be just someone that had a little bit of time off work because they needed some time off, okay, because of, say, like I had, because of the uh, coronavirus uh, vaccination shot, blah, blah, blah. You would have gone to somewhere like Libra Energy here and you had a couple of days off and now you're back to work, you're back uh, with your relationship, you've gone to see your partner, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And you had a very minor five of wands, which I needed a day off. Okay, and now I'm back here, back to work, back at home, uh, working from home or back at work itself and back with a relationship and everything's going very well. Six, seven, eight, could be a Leo Aquarian energy possible, but um, an eight here, Leo Aquarian energy, and that you're back on, you're back in the relationship and you're back in the game, basically. So like I said, it could be a very slight blip of something that was wrong, uh, like... Uh, Health-wise, add some time off work, maybe back at work. Some of you here, uh, you've been having, like, there could be people that you notice that are ill here, or just don't know how much, right? I'm also hearing I just don't know how much I can take. I don't know how many clients I can take, is what I'm hearing. I don't know how many I can take. I don't know how many I can take with you. Like, is this on a bus or a coach or a trip and it's something like, I don't know how much I can take. This also would be a justice of someone that uh, owns a company, physical company owner, right? Their own company. And I don't know how much more I can take of this. But then everything's good. So I don't know what this person's been arguing about. What is the justice for? Two of Swords, Libra, again, I don't know how much more I can take. <laughs> Two of Swords, ten of money, well, there you go. <laughs> I don't know how much more money I can have. Someone is just, well, I mean, again, it can still be a one. You've got a ten and a ten here. And like I said, it might be someone that's been arguing about finances and money, and there might not be much in it, because it can be, well, if there isn't much in it, then I'm not going to do it anymore. If I'm not getting what I want out of it, then it isn't really worth me doing it here if I'm not going to earn any money and we're doing all of this stuff and I'm not really getting any satisfaction out of it and I'm not getting any money out of it then basically I'm just going to like go here so I don't know if any of you like had a breakup or a split up and someone's like look I can't take this anymore this is a job that really isn't for me or I can't take it in the family and we've just gone to see the, the in-laws or whatever and they're more like in-laws outlaws and they've caused a load of strife for me here and then we've gone back home and we're back now where we want to be because this could be like a visiting someone and it really didn't go very well like the family all started bickering and fighting and god knows what else or you went to visit a partnership relationship and you arrived there and it didn't go very well and everybody started arguing and you know it wasn't quite what you expected it to be and then all of a sudden you're now back at home or these are family members and now you're back at home in your relationship and everything's fine here. Or this is work and it's very stressful and tiresome and blah, blah, blah. And you left that job and you're now gone towards another one. Here's a few stories here, Pisces. Um, because this is very good energy. And this can represent that your love life is going very well, but your family life is going shit. <laughs> okay, or your job has been very, like someone well basically somebody or something here is not been very understanding here they have been so it might be that i get more support from my love interest than what i do my family or i get more interest like i because there's like money and where do i get more interest i'm not getting anything out of it here and i'm not gaining any interest so i'm basically not earning and i'm actually gaining interest here but not here so like i said you might have a few things that are going on work related and you don't get any interest in any money here or you're losing interest in this energy altogether and you're actually getting more interest here this side of the coin if you like because i keep hearing this is about business company and a business policy and all that sort of stuff libra had that 
and it's like I'm seem to be losing interest there and I don't seem to be getting noticed or it's kind of like that you're at a job and you don't seem to get noticed you don't get seem you don't seem to like you know people just pass you by and you're like well I don't seem to be getting noticed or like I'm here doing my job and no one seems to be noticing noticing me at all whatsoever so I'm going to leave there and I'm going to go here I like because this is like the dark side bright side energy right the dark side of the moon and if I'm not getting any kind of if I'm not getting any satisfaction out of this here and it's more worry and stress than what it is actually being here I'd rather be here right so this can be like a break from work on a light side of it uh, on sunny side up the name's sunny or um because I've kind of split these into two stories Yeah, it's kind of like, what's that saying where the, your bread is not buttered on both sides? It's just on one. You all seem to be on their side and you're never on my side. Like, you all seem to pick them over me, you know, or M or Emily. And you all seem to pick on M or you all seem to pick on them all the time. These are siblings. These are brothers and kids and children possible here. I'm hearing you all seem to pick on them, but you don't, you don't, you always want them, but you don't want me. And if you always want them and you don't want me or M or Emily and you always want them, this is what came up through the Aquarius reading, man. This is really more my life <laughs> here. So I've soon got to stop. But uh, yeah, there's somebody that makes someone feel very unwanted in the family here. Very unwanted in the family and make someone very like upset and they cause a lot of conflict of negativity in the family and they make them feel as if they're not wanted and that they're not welcome and because they make them feel that way this person then goes towards their relationship partner to get away from the family here because they make them feel as if they're strange or weird or there's something wrong with them and it came up through Sagittarius, Capricorn and also Aquarian where uh and it was involving Libra in some of those where it was went around somebody that was adding that much fear into people's minds and making them think otherwise of negativity that where everybody now is focused more on this energy here and it was round where someone like a mother or a grandmother has been spouting shit about someone and making them feel very low and very down creating fear into their mind that child or that person then can project that onto their relationship partner and ask if there's anything wrong in it. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong in a relationship. It's other people that talk smack and shit, okay, that cause fear for people that then a child can then start to question their relationship partner and say, is there anything wrong? And they're like, no, nothing's wrong. Why? What's the matter? And it can be a person that starts to um, self-sabotage because of listening to smack and shit. Okay, and because they do, that person individually can come away from here and leave this energy because there's more shit talk and there's more uh, negativity and blah, 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 crap and blame and shout. And yeah, you're not supposed to be doing this and blah, and blah, blah, blah. And we're just going to throw all our conspiracies upon you just to make you feel as if you're unwelcome and that you're not wanted here. So we're now going to tell my son or daughter all of these conspiracy theories and all this shit that you should and shouldn't be doing. And then this person, when told that, gets to made to feel upset because they're not wanted in the group. And because they do now, this person then can start to question their reality itself. In a relationship itself, that can be slightly dangerous because they can start to say, is there anything wrong? And if they question the partner, their partner's going to say, no, nothing's wrong. Why? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just thought something was wrong. No. Why is that? Because you're listening to shit. You're listening to smack talk. Okay. It could be bullshit info. It could be people that just uh, around you, they're constantly telling you that you're no good or, or I don't know, it can be bloody anything in life. But it's more negativity of what I'm picking up there and positivity of on this side of the story of uh, where a partner has been listening to this and then suddenly they come here to get this good news, which is the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles, right? So they say this is your partner. 
and this is the partner that you're with, and this is the people that they go off and see, which is whoever in life, really, but say family, and they go and listen to all that in their family, and then suddenly they get back home in their partnership and everything's great because they're left alone to do what they want. They're not bothered by people trying to tell them what they should and shouldn't do with their own life and with their own kids and with their own children. I don't need you to tell me what I can and can't bloody do. And if every time I come home and you tell me that I shouldn't really be doing that, well then why on earth would I want to stay around that long to listen to that anyway? So I'd rather go here. Here. Do you see what I'm saying? Whatever this I would rather go here is, is either a job, family, love, interest or whatever, but I want to leave here to go here because I get more energy and worth money or time or uh, like I get affection, I get like, you know, everything that I want in life is really provided more here than what it is here. That's the general message, okay? So that's what seems to have been going on, Pisces. Sorry, but it took me a little while to get out there. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to, like I said, just be a little bit patient. I have literally just had the, the jab a couple of days ago. But I do have to catch up because uh, I tried to catch up with all my readings so I didn't fall behind. And now I've actually had a day off. <laughs> I've now got to get back to work. Um, so let's see. Um, Pisces. What has Pisces got coming up for May, please? For May 2021, for Pisces, what have they got coming up, please? For May 2021, for Pisces. Uh, there you go. So this came out, again, through Aquarius reading. It's a contract to work, but this can also be a funeral. It doesn't have to be your own guys. It really can just be people that you notice around your soul groups, which is everybody that you know and spoke of, or ever have known of. Trevor, or Heather, Heather, the name Heather, or your tax could be up or something like that, okay, there's a contract that is drawn out through a new tax year. Uh, there could be an illness, but this could be people that are looking to work as through NHS and through hospitals and that kind of thing here. Uh, there could be a music contract, uh, all that kind of stuff, but like I said, these are where companies for the summer, these are plans for a person that's called summer, or these are plans for the rest of of what comes up before kids go back to school in September. These are normally times of breaks away where people start to have a break with their kids and their holidays. But they're also contracts that are drawn up through companies that start back up in summer. Okay, so it's kind of like this promise of the government that you might also hear from <clears throat> that are releasing a lot of things here. Because this is released from prison. This is someone that physically died. Okay, because it's judgment. It's also Libra. <clears throat> so, um, you know, it's, uh, it's like I said, it can be someone that has physically just passed on that you know of or something like that. Um, music contracts also. But this is where you might start to hear a lot of sanctions being lifted. You could be lifted, lifted, yeah. Um, but you could... Um, you could see a lot of things start to be lifted in the uh, outside and that, you know, we can now go out, we can now start to go for shopping and all of those kind of things and uh, shops opening up. And Well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but in Britain, they're pretty much saying now that everything is soon going to be lifted. Our death rates have gone completely down. Uh, loads of people have had the vaccinations. Uh, sanctions are being lifted up the uh there are more now the the rates of death rate now of con of kind of now where they're looking at um the other illnesses are actually as it would because it's 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 taken within a whole universe of people you know <laughs> oh, i don't want to go into it too much but like people that die of natural causes and stuff like that you know it's a number of so many people but let's see anyway things like that or, your, or just generically, your partner comes back in order to reconcile again, right here. Uh, wow, you've got 10 again, Pisces. It's kind of like this you what I said, the never-ending story of someone being betrayed or afraid, like I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to die, but change gonna come. Uh, 
It's been a long, long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Yeah. Came up for another reading. That's loss. That is having to take a loss. Or Lucy, or loss. Or, but it's also a gain, you see? It'll be for Pisces out there that know of people that have lost, okay? Lost a person. That will also be other people that are trying to gain a contract of work and a job, okay? Um, because for every loss that happens in life, altogether there is more of a gain in the future, right? So what am I going to gain out of doing this? You know, what am I physically gaining out of it? Is it worthy of my time to give up? And shall I keep doing it? Or am I earning out of it? Um, but is it worthy of my time to keep doing it? What am I gaining out of doing all of this? Pisces. What have they got coming up for me? Pisces, there you go. So a child, someone that has just given birth, this is a grandparent, also a child. Uh, this can be, like I said, annual leave, and someone is now like a housewife or something like that because they've just given birth here. Birth, now a mother. So this would be all the grandparents now that are all around the, the kid and the child here. Um, well, basically, this is someone that's coming back into your life, Pisces, here. But I'll find it very difficult because of the energy of Cameron that I predicted of the child for God knows how long. The child was born, and now the grandmother is trying to take over the life of the child here. But, um... This is pregnancy, but, you know, again, it can be someone that lost a pregnancy. It's both. It's always both. If people die, people are born. You know, if people give birth, people start to get pregnant. <laughs> it's time. You can never really tell. So the name Terry or Telly, people that listen to conspiracy theories that were in the goddamn... What do you call it? Uh, Aquarius reading. Uh, one more card, please, for Pisces. One more card, please, for Pisces. I'm really struggling at the moment. I've got to, I've got to have a break. Uh, Pisces. King of Pentacles, new job, but father or stepfather also here. Father and stepfather. Um, my son also. Something to do with son. It's just me. You probably live at home with your mum, or your mum and your son, or Mumford and Sons. Um, it's just me and my son. It's just me, myself, and Irene. <laughs> but uh, if not, and it's not just you and your son, then it's obviously you and other people here. <laughs> right? Um, Mm, good job prospects, though, coming up for a lot of you. Or you are the Piscean here, right, and you're in a stable relationship. You're also getting a contract of work here. Some of you, though, this is coming across as where it's to do with um, a person that you've got kids and children with here. And it, like I said, if there is an illness, if there is an illness, and this is clarified later on as, and you know of, then it could be to do with here, okay? Because that can also be any kind of illness as well, you know. Because uh, it doesn't have to be physical illness itself. It can just be someone of like where you, who you don't get on with, right? You just don't get on with them. That's also a sickness and an illness. Because I'm hearing sickness and in health. So that's a married couple and a married partner. Or you're just about to get married. And that's from in sickness and in health. So basically, we stick together. We stick together, and we do this together in sickness and in health. But uh, H A P P Y, they used to come on as an actual like hospital thing. Uh, this is this is hospitals. Visiting my father or mother in hospital, or visiting my relatives in hospital, visiting also my relatives in an LP, elderly, like residential home. Is also what I'm hearing. Residence. Resident. I am now a resident. Some of you have just got yourself a new place and a new home and you are a resident. Mm. 
So we're going to go on with the rest of your reading, Pisces. Uh, if you want to join, this will go over to the first tier and also the full access bundle. There is a video that is provided below for all of you. If you don't know, it is everything that you need to know about Patreon, what I offer when it comes out, what it means, everything, so on and so forth. It's quite a, a video that will give you all answers there, I feel. Uh, but if you want to join, this goes to the full access bundle and tier one. Uh, through the full access bundle, they charge you on the first, but you will get five other readings that come out through that through the month plus this one which will be four weeklies and then also the month for the next month okay um, but I will be doing four readings for the monthlies uh, weekly readings they will uh, be different stuff that I'll do but they'll start to come out over here and then they'll only go over to the full access bundle but uh, it's up to you what you want to do but any like share comment support really does help Pisces uh, if you want to join patreon to help me as a channel keep doing this uh, patreon is there provided below but it's either tier one or the full access bundle okay all right, guys, thanks very much, and uh, I will see you soon.